Hey folks, this is Bardic Dragoon. Welcome back to Let's Bar. Welcome back to Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. So we last left off, we had uh, finished up our explorations of the Forsaken Plains. This time, tackling the western half of the plains, and well, found two quests that uh, pointed us in the direction of the Cradle of Summer. So. Well, amongst, uh, amongst other things, uh, explored some caves, found quite a few uh, various lore stones, learned some history, rooted out some uh, people defecting to the side of the Tuatha, and just in general did a lot of interesting things, including two things that pointed us in the direction of the Cradle of Summer. Departing their home beyond the veil, the firstborn were torn asunder. With a cry that still lingers in the heart of every god tree and mountain. Then, emptiness, followed by a darkening sky, and the frost wept with the first winter. And so, well, that's what we're going to be exploring today the Cradle of Summer, which, I don't know, is that word. Maybe the way that sounds like something was born was born here. I mean, admittedly, the name Cradle of Summer kind of gives that impression already, but... Well... Having traveled through the cave that leads to it, let's feast our eyes upon the Cradle of Summer. As soon as we can get to this cliff here. Kind of a beautiful looking place, you ask me. The Shaper bequeathed her music to the countryside of marbled ruin. The plains birthed the gentle grass. Listless streams meandered through the verdant hills and babbled of their gentle travel to the face of the windswept cliffs. Thus, the symphony of Arathel began. All right. And yeah. All the way over there. But, before that, it's actually. Where is. Oh, he's on the other side. Okay. And zoom in. There we go. <laughs> oh, hey. I knew now you were there in front of me. Isn't the beauty of nature great? Right, this place is kind of interesting. Just like the way that it's set up, it's just this kind of beautiful, natural place. It's just rife with life. Okay, the abundance of wolves is somewhat annoying, though. Like, since, uh, kind of overleveled, because this is actually a higher scale level than anything we've been here on the plains of Arenthal. But it's still fairly below our level right now. Uh, it's actually scaled at 10 to 25. So yeah, still well below our levels, like the wolves aren't really threatening. I still just don't like the wolves. Like, the way that they fight just isn't interesting to me or fun to deal with, if you, or at least if you ask me. I'm sure there are people who are like, nah, that's their favorite thing to fight, and, and well, you people are wrong. I'm not even gonna, you know, don't at me, or whatever the whatever the cool kids say. But yeah, just like the wolves, like, okay, they only have one thing, and it's like, when you have a group, like, when it's one of them, they're super easy to deal with. When there's a group of them, it's stupidly easy to not get over, or it's stupidly hard to not just get overwhelmed by the enemies attacking you constantly. These men met all. They embraced each other, and in stillness enveloped the darkened land. 
Where one sang, the other danced. They sang thus. We are Issa, and Om danced. We are Om, and Issa danced. I am the summer's dawn, and Om bowed. I am the morning winter, and Issa bowed. This thing is something, and Om wept. Nought of nought, and Issa wept. All right. I've completely lost the plot of what the Summer Stones are about, so yeah, I don't know. Anyway, you look like you have a quest for Hi. us, lady. Oh, hello. Lovely weather. Have you spotted any sativa fiber? It's okay if you haven't. I'll keep looking. Lovely weather. What? Who Who are you? What's happening? You're Janet. Didn't you know? I thought that's why you were speaking to me. I collect plants to sell, to mix, to eat. Some of them I haven't figured out what to do with yet. What I love is some sativa fiber, fresh and unpicked. There's a patch of it, but the spiders won't let me near. Oh, hello. Did you just get here? Why do you want sativa fiber for? Why wouldn't I want it? I've been chewing it since I was a child. It's what makes me impervious to harm. I'm completely indestructible, in case you hadn't noticed. If you can help me get that sativa, then I will be sure to give you a discount on all my alchemical goods. My sister Molly is a trainer. She'll drop her prices too, I promise. All right, sure I can do that, I guess. Don't do it on my account. The cradle of summer will provide. Nice to see you. All right, so let's go kill some spiders and get... Oh, hello. Don't mind me. Just lay in traps. Okay. Cool. So maybe she isn't crazy. Like, the spiders weren't what made me think she was crazy. It's more so the, I've been chewing it all my life. That's what makes me invulnerable. Oh, I'm invulnerable, by the way. Okay. But, yeah, then then we finished talking. We're done, like, just spiders fucking everywhere. That's cool. Slumber. Okay. Just a bunch of face sitting around a tree, huh? Okay. You look like you have something you might want to say while you're sleeping. Are you one of the intruders? One of the children of the dust? What else can we possibly give you that you haven't already taken? The cradle of summer is not a flower for the plucking. What are you talking about? Mortals. Children of the dust. Those who seek only to steal the treasures of the land from which we sprung to end the deep slumber. Mortals like you who seek to bend nature to their will, to make it bow before them as a servant, not embrace it as a guide and mother. Mortals. Thieves, liars, and weaklings. They have stolen items of great power. Stolen the three staffs. What are the three staffs exactly? They are Riven or Tarsus, Gloam Frost, and Ender's Fire. Three incredible weapons forged to end a war that was threatening to engulf your mortal world. Such prices, such items of power and importance cannot be kept in the open, and so they were hidden here. That is, until the intruders took them. Can I help? A child of the dust wishes to help the cycle. There is no precedent. If you truly wish to assist those of us in the deep slumber, you are welcome to. 
The three staffs were stolen from Sill Hollow and destroyed by the thieves who did not comprehend their power or their value. I heard their dying screams. The pieces must be recovered and the staffs must be reforged. If you can do this, you are more worthy of the cradle than I could imagine. But likely, you will not. Okay. Move swiftly. And speaking of which, where are those spiders that the girls complain about? Ah, over there, okay. Oh, hey, there we go. What's in here? Radiant Scepter. Nifty. So let's uh, deal with those spiders first of all. That sounds relatively easy to deal with. Hello? Oh, hey. He just launched a bear and juggle comboed him, sort of. All right. Ah, oh, those must be the spider she was talking about. Those spiders really weren't all that, uh, all that difficult to deal with. No. Okay, and now I guess we'll go find her. Then we'll see what we can do about finding those staff fragments. Seems like those might be important. Oh, hey, there you are. You you just you just stroll around this place, don't you? Creatures, but those are so creepy. You are too kind. From now on, you are considered a valued customer to all the Janix. Everything is cheaper for the Spider Slayer. That is your name, isn't it? Yeah, okay, let's go with that. Sure, why not? Anyway, sell off all the various junk we've got. Because, you know, we totally need more money. Hmm. Nope, okay. Nothing we really want so from you. Alright. Oh, hey. That was over near where the dude... The amulet. You need to do the amulet thing. Yeah, words. I can words. Hello, friend. At last. Thank the gods. Someone's come for me at last. Yes, I am the scoundrel you're looking for. Yes, I stabbed my partner in the back. Do with me what you like. Just please, please take the amulet. It's yours. What? What is happening right now? I'll tell you why. This fade trinket belonged to Armin the Clever, and it's cursed. Like most, I considered it an old traveler's story. Now, I'm a believer. It's real. I have the scars to prove it. Your only hope is to give it away, or to travel to Armin's Hollow, in hopes you can remove the curse, which is why I'm here. Please, take the amulet. I am so weak. I cannot withstand its influence. 
If I possess it any longer, I will surely die. Who is I'm on the clever? Perhaps the most treacherous and playful Fay ever to walk the green lands of the summer court. Evidence of his trickery can be found all over the Faylands. Armand's Hollow of Sill is not far, right here in the Cradle of Summer. That's where I'm headed now. It is my salvation. What exactly is the amulet here that's doing this to you that apparently I may not want to retrieve? Legend says that Armand crafted it by combining lightning, fire, and frost. An arcane trick he stole from the Scolia Arcana. All I know is what I've seen. Once that amulet is in your possession, it will torture you. Only the strongest can withstand its punishment. Only one such as you. I'll take the amulet, I suppose. I've, I've put up with a lot of stuff. What a relief. You have no idea how long I've been trying to abandon that damn thing. In order to be rid of its curse, you must take the amulet to Armand's Hollow of Sil and cleanse it. Armand wishes to make you enter his lair and face its many dangers. But once you've done that, the amulet is yours to keep. You ask me, it's a high price to pay for a rather dull trinket. Okay. Bye. Okay, that is the one that's pursuing. That is pursuing. Okay, and that's all at the other corner of the map. Sure, why not? Alright, well, I guess we better start making our way over to there. Um, hello. Each time you strike an enemy, the chance a bolt of lightning will strike you, even out of a clear blue sky. Each time you strike an enemy, there is a chance you will be gripped up by a layer of frost. Each time you strike an enemy, there's a chance you will spontaneously burst into flames. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, we're just not going to fight things then. We're just going to run. Do lots of running. Running, 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 running. Running, 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 running. Not fighting things. Except this, just because I want to see. Of course, it only takes one hit to kill those things, so that didn't really do us much good. And then, yeah, you're there. But, it looks like there is a lore stone somewhere up on this hill. Where? Ah, oh, there it is. These open plains, nestled where mire and rocky deserts cease, where the hungry forests end. In the bosom of the Feylands, these fields are home to the languid sky. This work, shaped by the delicate artistry of an inspired painter, is for all the peoples of all lands. Okay. So yeah, I guess the, the lore stones are the creation of the plains. Also, it sounds like I, I don't know. Hidden door. And anything interesting behind said hidden door? Oh, we got some. We got a pile of rocks. Ooh, another skill book. Ooh, yeah. And then that leads to jump point to some water with an island in the middle. What, am I the one true king now or something? Kosti's Helm. Ooh, that's some solid might armor. Ooh, resistance to various elements and a boost to health. Hmm. This helm belonged to a mystical female warrior with an uncanny mastery over the elements. That seems appropriate considering what the helmet actually does for us. And Geronimo Plop. And Alright, oh, another lore stone there, and the cave where we need to cleanse the amulet. Okay, chances might be highly bloated or those like 
setting out effects that then those hit the enemy. Maybe it doesn't count as hitting the enemy for that for for the amulet. I don't know. Either way, lore stone somewhere around here. Ah, near a jump point. So I must be on the higher ground then. That's cool. Oh, hello. I can see how on paper these effects will really mess with you and make your life miserable, but yeah, so far I'm not feeling too bad. The summer begins here, oh mortals. And when the final winter leaves its chill breath on the stones of your fathers and mothers, you will witness the end of days. And it will happen here, where it began. A peaceful death in the cradle. Okay. And that was the last of them, and so what did that get us? Oh, there we go. 5% chance to steal 10 mana per hit. Hmm, very nice. Anyway, let's get ourselves into this cave and get this amulet cleansed and you'd not have to deal with just spontaneous being struck by lightning and all that fun stuff while attacking enemies. Alright. Hidden door. Hidden door that apparently I'm going to guess is only visible and uh, usable from the other side. camera stop freaking out please that'd be great thank you I don't know what happened there nope actually no da -da -da. consumables There we go. Zoom in the map a bit. Honestly, a rogue is probably not a good build for doing this quest. Since rogues... A lot of their attacks rely more on hit count than raw damage. Also, the camera keeps freaking out. Can you please stop doing that, camera? Thank you. That'd be great. But yeah, since like their normal attacks, like there's like three or four hits in that one attack. I mean, three or four chances for it to just be like, "Hey, you're gonna get, you, you're gonna take damage." I guess my better judgment. Let's go see what's in here and fight some more things. Because clearly I'm a glutton for punishment here. Right, I forgot. Cool. Alright. And 
and so that cleared the way for us to get to these two chests, which are hopefully worth the effort. I'm thinking not, because, well, this place is scaled 11 to 26, so things are below what our level is. But, yeah, you never know. Mm, yeah, that's auto attempt. Nope. I hope that was underwhelming. That's okay, we'll keep on keeping on. You know, getting struck randomly by lightning and all that whenever we attack enemies. Oh, okay, the traps it's pointing to are the freaking man-eating plants. So the archery doesn't seem to trigger the effect. Interesting. Alright. <laughs> So archery and traps are apparently what we need to be using here, because they don't seem to trigger the effects. I don't know if that's just my luck being weird, or like that's legitimately the way the mechanics work. That's what I've noticed. I walked right by a chest. Also, some gold from dropped enemy from dead enemies. Dropped gold from dropped enemies. Wee! Rolly roll. Oh no! That'd be great. Hmm, nine points of defense. It's about like two percent. But nope. Add that to junk. Cruel daggers, nope. 
Uh, nope. Nope. All right. And then purify the amulet. When you place the eye of Amon onto the altar, its glow brightens and then goes out. All right, cool. Let's get the heck out of here. And so we're turning that. Uh, Take a look where those are at. See if those are something we can get, deal with fairly easily in here. Nope, okay, so those are all back on the Forsaken Plane. Cool. So then we won't deal with that. Which kind of leaves, unless we're going to return the amulet back to the guy who stabbed his partner for it, which I, I don't think we're going to do that leaves us with story progress. That's something we haven't had in quite some time now, is it? Alright. Okay, yeah, that's uh destroy a whole group of enemies without them even getting close to you. I'm kind of digging it. Not quite as uh, visually satisfying as the mage with just a giant. Okay, I just some a giant meteor out of the sky just kill all of you. But, you know, it's fine. It, it's a pretty solid way of dealing with enemies in this game. Plus 60 mana. That doesn't really do us much good. Actually, wait. Merchant anywhere near? Nope, she ain't anywhere near us. Okay. Just notice inventory is starting to get full, so I figured it might be worth it to do something about that potentially. They're watching you. Good for you. I'm watching you too. Look at you. Hail. I am General Talera Ap Gwydion, former commander of the Eastern Alpha Forces. Surely you're not the aid Aelin Shear promised. She spoke as if she planned to send a whole squad of soldiers, not one faceless mercenary. Hmm. Ellen sent me to help. So, she is behind this. That woman. One too many times she's meddled in my affairs, making promises she never intends to keep. Well, perhaps it is for the best. The fewer people involved in my affairs, the better. You see, misfortune follows closely at my heels. It is the lot fate has cast for me. Trust me, I can I can help. The years have been long since I first learned of the means that might deliver Mel Senshir from the Tuatha. It lies in Earl Tusk, beyond a gate fated never to be opened, in a hall awash with Miscari. Any who seek access to the ruin must face them. And how will this help the war exactly? These ruins are said to be the resting place of the Piercing Light, a spear carved from the tusk of the Niskaru Duke, Gaju. The legends say it destroys any horror, in the mind or on the battlefield. No place is more deserving of such a power as Melson Shear. So, how do we open the gate then? 
For all my years of research, I've only ever found one clue to this puzzle. When the great voices rise in song. It may refer to the wind stones scattered across the plains. They bear a striking resemblance to the stones of this ruin. But that's simply me grasping at answers. Take this chime. It is said to have been taken from the ruin during its construction many centuries ago. I've tried using it on the windstones with no luck. The okay. windstones are located all across the plains. There's a windstone. Oh, strike chime on ancient. Whoa! What the heck is happening? Oh, hi. Okay. So are there any other of those uh, wind stones? Cause that that seemed to do a thing. Be mindful of your actions. I I can't believe it. The gate shifted. For all my efforts, you simply appear and make it respond. Yeah, I'm kind of special like that. So can we enter it yet? No. You've opened one part of the gate, but four more remain. You must find the wind stones scattered throughout the plains and activate them. I will remain here. The Nascaro will sense that the seal is weakened. Someone must try to hold them back. I'll okay. stay here and fight any Nascaro looking to sneak past us. Alright, and I will figure out where the windstones are. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, those windstones, they're, they're really like all over the place, huh? Alright. Well, in that case... Let's take care of a few things. Welcome back. Welcome back indeed. Oh, but you're back. Oh. I mean, didn't mean any good, but cool. Oh, anyway. Don't mind me. Just another refugee looking for a handout. Life's tough, what with the Freeman striking us at every turn. You understand, I'm sure. You can drop the act. I, I, I have your amulet, dude. Wonderful. Give it here. The amulet itself isn't worth the stone it's made from, but it's the story that interests me. Something of Armand's belongs to me. Take the aim there, buddy. That's why I like you. You prefer action to debate. You will go far because of it, like me. Well, like me before I was betrayed and left for dead. Could you please stop bleeding all over the place? Oh. That'd be great. Alright, let's uh, sell off some items Hello here. There. Hello again. How are you enjoying? Uh, oh, hey, lockpicks. What is it? Be well. Quite well. Done talking to you. Bye. Alright, so I got those stones there. But there was also. Where is... Yeah, those. Ah. On God Fang. That's good. Let's see, next one's kind of out in the middle of the plane, so I guess we'll get that one next. Traveler. Yeah, I'm starting to notice the quests are doing a lot more, like they're less contained. I don't know if that's just something with uh, the, well, no. Cause there were a couple of ones that would do that, even from the beginning. Hello? You're in my path, stranger. We ask that you step aside before I cast you off the cliffs. I'd like your staff, please. That's laughable. I don't know you. I don't trust you. And I don't like the looks of you. Why are you so angry? 
I'm plagued by visions of what your kind call the future. A telling beyond the present. It is all because of this new god. She clouds my thoughts, confuses me. I'll return your staff, I promise. The mortals are fond of tricks, and tricks I will not stand. This is my time. The whispers tell me so. I still want your staff. How many times must I tell you to depart? You do not wish to feel my wrath, mortal. Go on. Guards! Guards! Do 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 do. <laughs> Just stealing your stuff, you know, nothing unusual there. Alright, then, is there any way? Actually, yeah. Fast travel to Mulrane. Oh, or it's actually the staff is inside there. Okay, well, in the meantime, let's go ahead and hit this windstone since we're right here as well. That's uh, one more windstone taken care of. That's good. Makes life a bit easier. And then here into these caves. Let's see, we go this way. Oh, great, the cobalt are back. I wonder what this crazy dude was here. Care to join me in my work? You look like you could use a few moments of quiet reflection. I'd like your staff. This warped old rod? I can't imagine why you'd have any interest in it. It's a patchwork piece, cobbled together from bits and bobs. However, I did invest many hours of my life in its construction. My hands still bear the calluses. I would part with it for a price. Okay, I'll pay for it. I'm friggin' loaded beyond belief, so yeah. I couldn't have parted with it for any less, you understand. A man's handiwork is still worth something. Enjoy the peace, and good day. Be well. Alright, cool. So you got the staff pieces, so we got the staffs together. And then what else are we supposed to do with that? Uh, let's see, forge the staffs. Ah. Okay, so I need to salvage them and then put them back together. So, well, it will be a brief introduction to blacksmithing. That'll be fine. But in the meantime, since we can do that at any uh, forge, let's get back to this. Find those other wind stones. And let's see. Oh, actually... Okay, so for the moment, we shall... Actually, you know what, for the moment, yeah. Since it pointed us to using this particular forge, it shouldn't make a difference which one we're using, but this one's relatively close by. Actually, salvage.
then craft staff. We got lots of dried gut, so actually simple bindings. There we go. Confirm crafting. Keep the name the same. And yeah, that's pretty much how crafting works. You select what it is you're crafting, in this case, staff. You select your components. Uh, in this case, we've got the two special ones for the thing, but we've also got, you know, we could do like, normally for a staff, you use a rod. In this case, this is an ash shock rod, which ash is tier three, I believe. Uh, and then you can do different optional components. Like you have, the second one you have to choose something for, which is going to be a problem for the next thing. And then, you know, we can ignore that, ignore that, and just do a simple and yeah all right let's see there was a blacksmith here in town wasn't there nope looking for supplies not even anything fancy. Hmm. Home guard keep, maybe? Welcome. Yeah, welcome to yourself. Let me guess, another day in the life of Helm God. God's prettiest cool. blacksmith. Aye. Shirtless and with a handlebar mustache. You don't get more manly than that. Hello? Grime, you didn't come to hear the call. Uh. Shaft, there we go. Ramton, come again when we're better stopped. There we go. Alright, so now that we've got the stabs recrafted, it is time to go return them. So actually, you know what, first we'll get the windstone out here too. Yep, okay. We're almost there. There's gonna be another jump down spot we'll have to get involved with. What the... There's some more Tuatha. Okay, I was figuring more Niskaru, but you know, Tuatha also works. Okay, so only the dagger is able to do stealth kills, I guess.
And away he goes. Lunala's leggings! Aha! To go with the boots we found. Which will give us a bonus to damage resistance. And it's the same... Standing over the corpse of her now... Yep, same thing as with the leggings. Cool. Alright. Well, it's actually stronger than what we have right now. We lose the health regeneration, but... Yep, let's equip that. I kind of like her boots, but I'm going to keep those. All right. Actually, yeah, really quickly. All right. And so now let's come back to the deep slumber. You hear a strange sound and then feel a tingle traveling through your body. There is magic at work. What? What is hap- What? What? You have absolutely no idea what you've done, do you? Mortal Soul is trying to take something. Thanks to you, the barrier is broken, and the magic weakens. If we do not act swiftly, the Cradle of Summer will be lost. What, huh? The Cradle of Summer is a blessed place, and we must protect it from those that wish to make such power their own. My barrier served its purpose for many seasons, but magic everywhere has been in decline. Your disturbance of the Lore Stones destroyed the barrier. You are responsible. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to. I'll help. What? Then come. I will restore the barrier at the font. But you must protect me. The Wild Fae will be here soon. This is the chance they've been waiting for. Farewell. Okay, cool. Um, meanwhile, yo, Home Slice. Remarkable. Return. Alright, so you're running away. Okay, cool. Alright, first things first. The deep slumber predicted your coming, as it did many things about you. You were meant to find the stars, to reforge them, and ultimately to keep them. Those of my kind do not flinch from the winter, but the nights grow exceptionally cold and the air holds the stench of decay. Mortals, it seems, will outlast us all. Take the staffs, wield them. They have called you as they once called down the lightning and lit the earth with fire. Do not lose heart on your perilous journey. Farewell. Okay. Cool. Okay, so where's, uh... Oh, my God. 
Okay, so just throw some Prismere Trolls at us, sure, fine. Ow, I hate that attack. go. Alright. That all of them? Oh, Bogris. All of them? <laughs> nope, okay. Lay on cheese now. Cool, okay. all of them I I am so weary but it is done and the cradle is safe once more you have done what is right and I am pleased to give you this talisman as a symbol of my things perhaps the first one spoke the truth that the fonts are running dry that things are finite after all. For that is how I feel at this moment. Brain of all life. An odd sensation, this dying. Maybe there is something to mortality after all. A crude gold talisman. That's great. Honestly, it just occurred to me. I think there's one last thing we haven't actually uncovered or found here. I forgot there's one more dungeon in this area. It's, this one isn't a plot relevant one. And we'll probably go tackle a bunch of those uh, before too long. Because there's a couple of them that we've stumbled across. So like, yeah, there's no reason to go in there except just to go in there. And, like, a lot of them aren't super relevant to our current level. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, it's went back to that. Cool. Alright, and yeah, Shardfall. Back here, hidden cave. Interesting little spot. As I said, we'll probably go tackle it at some point. But you know what? We've got uh, well, two more of those stones that we need to that we need to store it out. And in order to do that, we have to travel to some new areas. So that should be exciting. Uh, I have to figure out which one we're going to do next. But in the meantime, uh, well, it's actually for the meantime. Head back. Uh, we'll yes. take base here in Emir. And until uh, next time, uh, once I figure out where we're going to be going next, uh, well, until then, later folks.